The problem is that no one ever told you you are putting your attention on the wrong thing. Your society, your parents, your school, your teachers, the government, the church, the army, the media, the Hollywood, everyone is, and a lot of spirit, pseudo spiritual courses on spiritual world, they're all emphasizing to put your attention of how you feel. How do you feel about that, sweetheart? How do you feel? What do you think? And right there, you're down in the gutters. You went into the trap. And this is happening over and over again. Because it's all misleading you, not intentionally, because they're not even aware of what they're doing, is they take you back into the ruts. You're going back to the gutter. Forget about how you feel. Bring your attention on that place. Discover the place inside you that there is a place inside you that is beyond how you feel or what you think. That is a place that observes your feeling good and observes your feeling bad. Bring your attention to that place. Keep your attention on that. And you will see that's who you are. You are not the one who feels good or feels bad. You're the one who's aware of feeling good and is aware of feeling bad. But that's not who you are. You're not feeling good, you're not feeling bad. You're the awareness of feeling good and feeling bad. That's a major difference. That's a big game changer. One is having the wrong identity, which you lived your life up to now. All of your life, you thought whatever you feel or whatever you think is defining you. So what do you try to do? You're going to try to feel good all of your life, like everybody else. How do you feel good is by acquiring the object of your desire. If I get the woman that I want, if I get the woman I want, if I get the man that I want, I'm going to be very happy. If I get my soulmate, then I'm going to be very happy. So because it's all about how do I feel? Because I want to feel good. Everybody wants to feel good. If I lose a little bit more weight, I'll be very happy. If I was 10 years younger or I get a little bit, get some work on my face and I look better, I'm going to feel really good. People who are into the material world, they love money. They want more homes, more businesses, more gold, more stocks. So if I make, if I turn my 1 million to 5 million, I'll be very happy. So what do we do is we go out there and try to get objects. If I can convince my children to give me more attention, I will be very happy. If I can convince my daughter to bring me my grandkids to me regularly, I will be very happy. So you are putting your attention on an other world to get something to make you high. So you're up, happy. You want to be happy. That's what everybody wants. But the thing is, it doesn't work because it's the wrong approach. You get a little bit happy and then you lose that thing that you got and then you're miserable. So you're yo-yo. Pendulum. Happy, sad. Happy, sad. Happy, sad. And as you get older, it gets worse. You can't get a hang of it. 
And you're running around doing this, doing that, taking this course, taking that course, doing this practice, doing that practice, banging your head against this wall and that wall. And you're frustrated because it's not getting you anywhere. And you're miserable. I know it because I've done it. Yeah. I've done it probably more than you have with everything, with courses, with gurus, with shamans, with drugs, with alcohol, with sex, with danger, with all kinds of things. Not once or twice, hundreds of times, thousands of times to the extreme. And it never made me happy. Short term, I was happy when I got it. When I get the object of my desire, I'm very happy. I'm, I'm a very easy person to satisfy. Very, very easy. Just give me everything I want. Give me the best of everything, and I'm very happy. As long as everybody else do what I want them to do, I'm very happy. I'm very easy to satisfy. But it's not there, my brothers, sisters. So, where is it? It's here. You have to find that point of reference, the zero point that things get compared to it. And bring your attention there. Bring your attention. That's why I spend so much time. I put so much energy. All of my meditations, all of my teachings, all of my training programs, if you're learning to be a healer, if you want going to self-awareness, everything we do always, always is pointed at one thing. Those of you who've been with me, you know that. Or if you go through my previous videos, I always direct you to one place. That place inside you, that doesn't change. That place inside you that sees, observes the change, but it's not changing itself. You hear me saying it always. Look for that which doesn't change inside you. So, if you recognize what I'm saying and you bring your attention inwards, and you keep your attention on that place. And that place, we let's use a word for it. Let's say the observer. There's something inside you observing. The knower. The watcher. Something inside you is observing your thoughts. Is aware. It's watching. It's hearing your thoughts. And it's very busy. A lot of thoughts. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Worry, worry, anxiety, thoughts. It's getting compared to this place because this place is not changing. It's very still and is aware of a lot of noise. Then thoughts and worries go away. You get what you want. The danger passes. Something happens. Things calm down. 